to GTA 5. Today we're doing some more replicating Hollywood. And I have Brian's Mitsubishi Eclipse from the first Fast and the Furious film. Because that is the best one. And we are doing the scene where his Eclipse gets shot and then explodes. So, and he says gas and they run away. So I'm going to be pouring gas on the ground like that. And simulate the gas tank leaking a little bit. <clears throat> there we go. Now, you have 60 rounds each. You have 120 rounds in total to shoot at this car. There's one. Well then. No explosion. A lot of damage, but no explosion. Okay. <clears throat> so now, we need to fix the car. To see what it would take. Hand. Is the gas still there? That might be a thing. Start, you turd. Yep, gas is still there. It's right. There. So it did not work. Come on. So now let's reload the game to see what it to see another thing. I have another test. I'm gonna put <coughs> a bunch of gasoline down. It leaked a lot. And then, we're also going to put an explosive underneath there to get it launched in the air if it does explode. So, maybe it will work, maybe it won't. Who knows? Who the heck knows? Because <clears throat> I don't think we're going to get, I think we're going to get the height if it does explode. But I don't think we're going to get the damage, because in the movie, there's only a little bit of damage, like there, the inside was exploded, the windows were, blo were partially blown out, and I have to get more weapons because I tried to change it, because I had to change it. And, um, the left, or the right door blew off. So, now I just need to buy some more gasoline, I mean, I just need to get the eclipse, these eclipse, can I, can I, can I do it, can I, get, there we go, thank you, that's good for killing gophers, there we go, alright, so now we're gonna get a sticky bomb, mixed with that, and that, and then, hopefully, that will give us the massive explosion we've been wanting, But, I don't know. And it's supposed to be a fire explosion. It's not supposed to be like a realistic one, alright? A screw realism. It's fast and furious. So, let's put a um, sticky right there. And let's just pour everything down. Made a little infinity sign. Here we go. Now we gotta stand back for this one. We have a bomb underneath that car. And go. Okay then. I'm gonna say wind explode, yo. I thought that exploded. Wait. Hang on. That means the car exploded just by the gunshots and the gasoline. We didn't need the explosive. Yes! <laughs> I did not think that would work. We didn't even shoot the, like, the explosive didn't even go off until I used the lower one level sheet and I blew myself up. So that 
immediately after he blew up the car with nothing but gunshots and gasoline. Just like in the movie. I did not expect that. Sweet. Now I just need to get it to fly perfectly in the air, or relatively perfectly in the air. And all I need to do is land on his, what well, what's left of his wheels, in the general spot, okay? That's all we need to do now, because he successfully proved that you can shoot a car with 60 rounds of ammunition, with 120 rounds of ammunition. Sorry, that was my fault. You have successfully proved that if you shoot a car with 120 rounds of ammunition with gasoline leaking, it will explode the car in GTA. Now I just need to launch it perfectly in the air. That's going to be a little hard, so I'm going to make it make it easier on myself. I'm going to put it right in the middle of that parking space. And now I'm going to perfectly park the car. Alright, that's our plan. There we go. Three, two, one. Um, no. Oh no, Johnny Tran. Okay, we need to load the game again. We're gonna try it one more time, but I have a different plan. The car exploded before it launched in the air, so there are two explosions in the movie. What if we do that? What if we make the car explode? Right? And then... We launch it in the air. Yeah, that sounds like a good idea. Totally. So we have one last try. But this requires the spawning of another vehicle to push the wreck in onto the mine. Maybe we don't need a car. Maybe we need a fire truck. Or not. I guess we don't need a fire truck in the... In Oh, here we come. Here they come. Yes, firemen, help! Help! Can you bring your fire truck over? I'm just gonna keep looking at my car. But then it won't despawn. I still see it. <clears throat> Come on. Yeah, leave, please. My car is still there. We are still good. Now we just need to push it onto the explosive. What I need to put down. Luckily, no one called the cops or started shooting at me, which has been annoying lately. So let's just put it right there. Or even put it at your feet. That's going to be a little hard to maneuver it there. But okay, instead of putting it in front of the car, let's put it on the side of the car. You freaking moron, you suck, Trevor. Now it's in line. Now I just need to hit it straight. Straight over it. Now I need to hit it straight back. Let's go slow. That's eh, a little more. There we go. All right. Here we go. Time to see if we can blow a car straight into the air and land back on what's left of its wheels. Three, two, one. Well then, it stayed in one area, but it didn't stay on its wheels. Definitely did not do that. Okay then, so, I'm going to get one more shot.
if possible. I don't think I can flip it over though. So, I guess it, so, um, I guess that's it for this episode of GTA 5 Replicating Hollywood. I do have much more planned, but I'm pretty much going to wait until I can get it on the Rockstar Editor to make it look a lot like it, right? Like the movie. So that's it for this episode, and I'll be back with more.